the secret to being a drag queen in the desert? Well, it's having a great time. High heels, big hair, fabulous outfits, and just working with a great audience in a property like this. We have a ball here. Does the dry climate help the makeup stay on? Well, you know, it gets kind of cakey, so you have to freshen the lips. I know I need a retouch right now, but we've been running for hours. So. No, you look gorgeous. Oh, thank you. You're too kind. I love honest, intelligent, observant people. Viewers, I am on a tram in Palm Springs going up to 8,500 feet to the San Jacinto mountain range. It is possible that somebody could break a hip on this tram ride as the median age of a passenger is apparently 104. I just stepped on an old man's foot and I don't care. I am at an elevation of 8,500 feet, and though the air is thinner, I am still a flabby cow. Reporting from Palm Canyon Drive in Palm Springs, California, this is Mike Diamond at Village Fest, the hottest thing to do on a Thursday night here in the desert. You say you want potions, lotions, soaps, and candles. Well, come on down to Village Fest here in Palm Springs, California. Hello, sir. Are you looking for candles, potions, lotions, and soaps tonight? No thanks. How about some beer? No thanks. You can find anything you want here in the desert. It's absolutely insane. Ma'am, what is your name? Josephine. Josephine, where are you going? Why are you running for me? <laughs> because you're scaring the hell out of me. Oh good. Mission accomplished. It's going to be a good night. Hey listen, you're a big guy. How tall are you? 6'2". Would you give me a piggyback ride? Oh. Thanks. Come here, Joe. Come on. Come on. Pick me up. Pick me up. Prove that I'm not fat. Pick me up. Pick me up. Yes! Yes! Even here in the desert I score. Thanks, Joe. Oh, look at those adorable children on a leash. They should be bound and gagged as well. I love kids. I do. I love kids on TV, on radio, in laboratories. What do you think about the current economic crisis? Good. It's good? Well, thank you, Becca. You're, you're a love. Now shake that bracelet. Shake it, girl. Shake it. Come on. Oh, liven up back at the street fair. I am backstage at the fabulous Palm Springs Follies, one of the hottest shows in all of California. Now, behind me, you see this. This was once the last living, very rare desert dodo bird. They've turned it into a headpiece. Anything for glamour, I say. It's show business, kids. <laughs> are you honey 85 85 before you go on stage you say a little prayer god don't let me break a hip no i just say oh god help me <laughs> the follies are fabulous because i'm in it <laughs> now the show is three hours long how in the hell are you people standing well we have a lot of guts and a lot of strength and a lot of love for this theater and this show and we just do it every day have you ever thrown pearls on stage a la showgirls to knock somebody down not pearls tax you're not married no. i'm shocked are you honey not in this state as part of your contract you guys get like boniva in the contract <laughs> no okay you might want to talk to management about that you sent me those flowers for Mother's Day, and I, I love this card. Crazy lady, what is your name? Judy Bell. How long have you been in the show? 15 years. Can you give me a high kick? Yes. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. Crack. <laughs> Where are we going tonight, Ned? Uh, Chang's? No, honey, it's called Wang's. I'm here at Wang's in the desert, which has the happiest happy hour in all of Southern California. Sir, are you a bear? If this martini didn't cost me $2, I'd throw it in your face. Yeah, that was worth waiting for. Do you have a mangina? No. How deep is it? No. Was it surgically implanted or did you fall on a sharp stone? Where are you going? What makes Palm Springs so gay? What makes Palm Springs so gay is, look around you here. Do you see a single woman? Aside from you? <laughs> just talking about this plant and it's called a honey mesquite 
Now, how many drag queens in the Palm Springs area have adopted that name? I am not familiar with that. So there may or may not be a drag queen named Honey Mesquite running around the desert. <laughs> uh, perhaps. Uh, again, I'm not sure. People, I'm still in the desert, in the canyon here. It is hot as b Now, rumor has it that Zsa, Zsa Gabor is buried somewhere here in the desert. If you see buzzards circling overhead, they could be zeroing in on her grave. It could be old leathery queens looking for a young boy. This is Palm Springs. I am standing in front of the hottest club in all of Palm Springs. It's called the Grass Hut. Excuse me. Excuse me. How was your experience in that nightclub? <laughs> you are horrible. Was it How was the music? How was DJ Gila Monster? It was fabulous. I hear it's the hottest after hours club. It is uh, very hot. In fact, I'd say about 103 degrees. And it's shocking that something so small could hold 600 people. Well, you would know. What's with all the clothing optional madness that goes on here? Gay boys like to take their clothes off, don't you? Not really, no. Well, have you tried it? Um, the health department contacted me and said I was causing an epidemic of blindness and nausea in the New York City area, and they told me to stop. There's a man taking his clothes off right here. Well, Look at that. Well, there sure is. Come here, young man. Butt crack, butt crack. Let's give butt crack. Wow. So this is the kind of magic that one finds here in Palm Springs. That's right. Do it. Do it. Yes. <laughs> Naked boy in the pool. So that's what Palm Springs is really all about. Well, that's part of it. Nakedness and chlorine. Uh, and great restaurants and hiking in the desert and going up the mountains and meeting wonderful people and having a lot of fun.